In this video, I'll show you how you get about 20,000 in gold and a free player home. Yes, a free player home. Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel and Skyrim. So in this video, we'll be getting a free player home, Severin Manor in Ravenrock, Solstein, plus an absolute crap ton of free golden goodies. So after completing several quests such as March of the Dead and The Final Descent, uh, which we started when we spoke to Glover Malaroy, we'll get a visit from Captain Vileth, who will ask us to speak with Adrian Arano, who's a second councillor of Raven Rock. Arano's worried that members of the Ulam family are present in Raven Rock seeking revenge for the execution of their ancestor by a member of the Morthane family and wants our help, I'm which sorry. of course we give him without the free home and gold, wouldn't we? I'll leave a link of the quest you've got to do to uh, get this uh, final quest uh, at the end of the video and in the description. After everything you've already done for Ravenrock, I hate to ask for more, but I can't risk Councillor Morvane being killed. He's in danger of being killed? The How? The family of House Lalu, a rival great house, has placed a death mark on the Councillor's head. Why would the Ulians want him dead? Let's just say they seek revenge for the execution of one of their own, ordered by Councillor Morvane himself. The problem is I don't have any solid proof that anyone from House Lalu is hidden among us. Only my suspicions. Your concern seems Maybe justified. justified. But it certainly isn't appreciated. Councillor Morvane simply feels that I'm being paranoid. I'm afraid that one day I'll awaken and discover him dead. I don't want it to come to that. You feel an attack on the council is imminent? I've received some information from my sources that there could be elements of Ulan's house, House Lalu, already in Ravenrock. Why haven't you acted on Ravenrock information? Ravenrock is a small settlement, so it's hard to accomplish anything in secret. If any of them is from House Lalu, I wouldn't be able to make a move without them knowing. How can I help? I had a feeling you'd be willing to listen to me. Where do I if begin? You start out by being my eyes and ears. Search Raven Rock and see if you can root out these traitors. The best place to start would be Geldis Sadri, over at the Retching Netch Corner Club. If he provides you any leads, check them out before bringing them to my attention. I can't afford to make any mistakes. And as where every good question starts, uh, in the pub. I wonder if uh, Geldis Sadri is related to the merchant in Windhelm. With the Aspawn threat taken care hmm. of, I can give my men the rest they deserve. Oh, well, good for you, Valerith. So, okay, into the uh, wretched Netch. I work for Mogul. You got a problem, you talk to oh, him. Oh, shut up. Right, in we go down here. Good to see you. Adra Lorano well, said you well, might be able to help me. He's got himself a spy, does he? Azura knows he needs all the help he can get. He's been chasing the Ulins for years now. You think he's mistaken? No. I just think he's going about this the wrong way. You have a better idea? Actually, I do. If you want to catch those slippery slaughterfish, you need to let them come to you. How do I get them to do that? There's an Ulan ancestral tomb near the temple. Someone's been leaving ash yam offerings on the altar inside. If you were to wait inside for whomever that is, I'm betting they'll have some of the answers you're looking for. Why haven't you told Adriel about this? Any time Adriel and the Redoran Guard made a move, the Ulans must have been one step ahead and didn't show up. Thanks for the tip. Take me if it works. Until then, I'd head to the tomb and wait until your visitor shows up. Right, Colt. I love how all these um, Dark Elves have got fake Cockney accents. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. Anyway, let's go. If there's anything at all I can do to help, please let me. Yeah, you can get out of the way for a start. 
Okay, I'll show you two ways of doing this. Uh, the quick way. Okay, just quick save here. And I'll get these guys to wait. Let's get going. As you wish. And tell Cedric to wait as well. That's his name, by the way, Cedric. I had a cat just like him. So, uh, yeah, he's Cedric. Okay, what we'll do is just go in here and we'll probably have to wait about an hour. So, sneak in. They're not there now. So, just wait one hour. And you'll see that person there. Now what you do is sneak up behind them, go to pickpocket them. You don't have to pickpocket anything. You've discovered who they are now. Okay. Now you can go back and report to Adril Arano. Not Adril, Adril. There you go. You learn something new every day. Okay. Now that's a quick way. So now I'll reload and I'll show you another way. It's a little bit longer, but you get a load of gold for it. Okay, and for the second one, the way I would go is go up into the temple. You can bring your followers for this one. I'll wait till it's open. Okay, that should be open now. Yep, lovely. In we go. And we're going to speak to the high priest here. You, Azura's oh. wisdom to you, friend. And just ask him what the ancestral tombs are. Where we inter our dead. They are sacred places, meant to honor their passing. Sadly, we've been unable to use the ancestral tomb beneath the temple as of late and have resorted to other locations to scatter the remains. Those Why can't you use them as tombs? Vermin, the abominations we call ash spawn, have risen from the ashes of our own ancestors. They are befouling the memories of our forefathers by defiling their remains. I'll cleanse Thank the tomb you, for you. Wanderer. That would be most kind. Here. This key should open the door to the tomb. Okay, so all we've got to do now is go and clear out a load of uh, Ashbourne. Uh, no, I've already got that one. Okay, there's a lot of them. Um, we've got any... Uh, Atronax or Dramora Lords you can use. I'll pop them out by you. Okay, let's just go for a scrap. And they'll start popping out straight away. There you go. Killed one of my own boys there. Eh? <laughs> there are a lot of them. <laughs> Wait, leave Cedric alone, you little bastard. <laughs> no 
Yeah, I told you. There's loads of them. That's loads of them. Okay, so you can run around and get some uh, a little bit of loot off those guys um, if you want. So now we've got to actually do our objective. Yeah, make sure the uh, thing's on. Nothing else is on. Okay. Get these guys Please to stop. wait. What is it? Go on ahead. I'll stand up. Oh, Cedric, you can wait here. Good boy. Okay, good. Yeah, you have to wait till your Atronax, uh, Order More Lords have gone because they're following you in. Plan same as before. Just go in. And find a place to hide. And wait an hour. Here they come. Okay. That's it. That's all you have to do. So now we're going back and speak to uh, Adriano. Don't forget to pick up your, your crew. <laughs> I love this little bastard. <laughs> He's great. Going. Excellent. Yeah. Come on, girl, let's go. And like I say, you can uh, uh, lose all the uh, Ashborn because they, they offer up some pretty decent stuff uh, occasionally. You'll get a few thousand in loot uh, from them. And we speak you to the this guy. Temple's I'm been hoping cleansed. you didn't suffer much at the hands of those foul beings. Please, accept this as a token of my thanks. And 2,000 gold. Pleasant journey, sir. Again, that may be leveled a bit. You, may be get, you might get a, a little bit uh, less. But a couple of grand plus what you pick up off the Ashbourne, um, yeah. For a few minutes uh, playtime, got to be worth it. Can I help you? So, right, let's go and speak him. I hope Gelder's proved Adriel. I keep forgetting his name. Are you sure? So I saw an Ulam tomb. Worked, eh? Every time we tried it, no one would ever show up. If Telesul's involved in any sort of plot to harm Councillor Morvey, I'm going to need hard evidence to prove it. So go I'm search the house. Anyone's door until I have solid evidence in hand. If you're wrong about Telesu, things would quickly go downhill around here, and the real culprit might slip away. I can't afford for that to happen. May I have a word with you, Counselor? What if they try and stop me? Of course. Places your life in peril. I would expect you to do whatever you must to keep yourself alive. Yeah, this key should open the front door of the manor in case they've locked it. Good luck. Yeah, so basically he's given us license yeah, to go and kill the bunch, so uh, that's what we'll do. Dust. I'll guess you could do Could this you sneakily, but why bother? So let's head up to our home to be. And... Um, because we've been told we can protect ourselves, exactly what we're going to do. No. <laughs> no. It's not my time. Not putting up much of a, a, a fight, really, are they? So anyway, we search them. There's some good stuff in here as well to, to loot. Ebony dagger, gold diamond ring, nom nom. <laughs> yeah, go on, girl. Get the two lock pick. Uh, 
Okay, now what we want to do is go down into the bedroom. Yep, this is going to be our house. And we look for the safe. Uh, there's a safe there. Okay, and what we'll find... I think we might take all this stuff. And we got that. So we'll head it all, take it all back to our drill. I'll do a separate video on this house uh, later on. Um, I'm going to redo all my houses of uh, Skyrim. Because um, the ones I did right at the beginning when I started doing YouTube weren't really good enough. If you find any evidence at Seven, then we finally have them. All that remains now is chasing them down and bringing them to justice. Good. I don't think you give up willingly. I'm going to send two of the best Rerun guards we have to take them down. I want you to assist them any way you can. I'll head there immediately. Can't afford to let these traitors slip away. Ashfallow Citadel's been abandoned for a long time. Okay. Ready for anything to the outcome. Always respect your decision. Yeah, I was just listening to a little conversation between these two. They're actually, um, I don't know if they're lovers, but they, uh, they're they into each other. That's a really interesting listen, picking up on some of the little dialogue that goes on in the background. It's uh, quite fascinating. There's a lot going on in this game, which we kind of ignore a lot. Okay, it's right across the other side of the island, so uh, make your way there. Quite a lot of nommy mushrooms around here as well. That we might Not remember. Long. By night we reclaim. Nom nom. Always pick up your ingredients, guys. Okay, the two red run guards are already dead, so they take uh, care of two. I knew it. Oh. Uh, ragtong assassins outside. Take care of them. Now it's up to you. I would suggest going in solo. Poultron armor. That's not bad. And don't forget, we uh, because we helped uh, Glover Malloy, we got the recipe for the advanced uh, uh, bone armor. So, oh, nice arrow! Oh, that's handy. You wait here, Cedric. What can I do for you, friend? And you can wait As here, you girl. Wish. You look after your little brother. Okay, this is actually a really good little uh, castle. I really like this one. Now you can go to the right straight away, but uh, I'll just show you if you if you go up the back here. There's a, a strong box. Come on, come to daddy. A little bit more. Oh, you get it. There you go. And we've got an East, em em East Empire pendant. And push on some healing, which is always good. Okay. I always get bogged down in this sand for some reason. 
But if you go around the back here, there's occasionally uh, an enchanted item. It's not enchanted, well, oh, it's starring, so it's not enchanted this time, but it's a decent item anyway. So it's worth popping around just in case. Okay, so onwards for the uh, the real quest. Come around the corner here and go downstairs. There's always a guy around the corner here. Good night. A little chest here. Oh, five lockpicks. Okay. There's always lots of little goodies to loot in here. Oh, that's how good. That's how sneaky I am. He's walking right at me, and he can't see me. You know those books. <laughs> that's the most important thing. Okay. Oh, sweet rolls. Nom nom. So you get a full set of armour here if you want it. Ah, damn, I shouldn't have picked that up. Please investigate the... I've never done that. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's around here. This guy's here. Take care of him. And lots and lots of good ingredients and soul gems to be had around here, so make sure you grab them. Oh no, lovely. Yeah, some good ingredients. And what's this guy got? Nothing. What's up here? Okay, I'm getting myself some decent books here, actually. And oh yeah, always check the uh, the barrow so you pick up some nice uh, ingredients in these uh, on occasions. Okay, so you pull that lever and that opens up the gate. This one's a little bit more tricky. What was that? What was that? Wow, these arrows are dropping. Good night. And it is worth losing down here, by the way. There's a lot of um, interesting stuff uh, to grab. I'm nothing major, but it's, it's a, a lot of interesting stuff. Okay. 
There's always an enchanted item around uh, the back. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not so great. And Elven Mace of Innovating. So grab that. Of course, and, and uh, as usual, it's, it's leveled loot. And random. Okay, activate that chain. Oh yes, search the barrel first. Now we have to open that one. And what you do is go back to this door here. Now watch out for the uh, the traps. Okay, because it's quite dark in here. And you can quite easily stumble on these. And activate that chain as well. There you go. Yeah, watch out for obviously all these pressure plates here. This is why that perk is really worth it. Cool stuff. Okay, so get the next one open, go away to the back here, pull this chain, then pull this chain. Okay, this is your final fight. This is the person you've got to kill, so. Make sure you get your sneak on him. Damn missed. Yeah. Lovely job, that's it. Okay, run around lose him. And he's got some good stuff on him. Not bad. Yeah, probably worth taking. And we've got a nice big chest here. Don't need that. Take that. Lock pick, nom nom. Okay. I think the two guards. Oh, bone arrows, good, good, good. Oh, that's excellent. Bone arrows. Ah, cool. Brilliant stuff. I uh, checked all the skeletons and uh, under the water, there's nothing down there, so don't don't bother. And now just uh, make your way back out. Sorry guys, I have to keep on picking up the books. <laughs> it's my weakness. Okay. Sadly, there's no quick way out. You have to come back in yourself. Come on, little fella. Let's go. Come on, Genesa. I am the shadow at your back. It's very nice to know, Jennifer. Very nice. 
Okay, let's get back to Raven Rock. If you find yourself... Well, what happened? Were you able to track down... Vent okay, go Vent with the, uh, the dialogue with uh, Adril, or Adril, or whatever you call him. Um, you. And you might come across a common... Yeah. Bug uh, in Solstein. It's where they don't complete casualties. So their part the of the uh, dialogue. So to and I'll show you what veterans. to do if that happens I'm to you. Glad you killed him. Piles of armor and I did what had to be done. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. Councillor Morvain will be quite pleased when he hears about this. But it's certainly better than not working at all. Follow me, and I'll take you to the counselor so you can speak to him yourself. Hello, friend. Hello, Glover boy. How's it going? Okay, so you're going to follow him. He's meant to take you to see the uh, the first counselor. Um, but what tends to happen is he just stands there. And it's happened every single time. But in the absence of quite a few quests in, in Solstein. So, yep, I need to stop there and stay there. So I'll walk away. You do well to remember that. And he'll just stand there. Okay, you can wait, and you just stand there. <laughs> so the only thing you can do is literally fast travel out and fast travel back, okay? That, that's it, if it happens to you. Okay, come out here and go straight back. That's it, we completed follow uh, a drill. Now we go speak to Councillor. Moving. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What you've <laughs> done for me, friend, for all of Raven Rock, goes far beyond what I would have expected from a traveler to our town. For this, you have my deepest gratitude. Thank you, Counselor. Now, I'm certain Adril was prepared to reward you appropriately for everything you've done. However, since a bit of coin hardly seems like enough, I've decided to provide something more substantial. Oh? Since the Severin family, or whoever they were, turned out to be criminals, their property is now forfeit. As counselor, I hereby award you Severin Manor and everything contained within. You've earned your citizenship here. And I hope you'll consider staying with us as a member of our community. And you get 10,000 gold. Now, when you add that with all the bits the and bobs you pick up the along the way as well, you're probably your getting discovery. on for about 20,000 in gold, which is uh, pretty damn decent and a free player home. You can't say better than that, can you? This really must be one of the most lucrative uh, quests actually in the game, I think. Anyway, we have a quick uh, wander around the house. I'll do a proper walkthrough on it, uh, as I said, in uh, future videos. I'll do a whole series on uh, homes, and the bodies are still there. And, uh, yeah, have to get rid of them somehow. Or use them as decorations, you know. They're nice. Come on, get out of the way. And you come down here. We've seen the main bedroom. Lots of chess. And got alchemy stuff. Loads of ingredients down here as well. Loads. 
So that's uh, Andy. We've got the enchanting room. Which is pretty cool. And a smithing area. Basically, everything you'll need is here. Absolutely everything you'll need. All for free. And you've got rooms for your uh, your followers. And loads of uh, coins and stuff like that around as well. So there you go, you guys. Loads and loads of gold. A free house. Uh, all good stuff. Doesn't get better than that. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.